Hello and welcome to session 39 on our course on quality control and improvement with Minitab. I am Professor Indrajit Mukherjee from Shailesh Jameka School of Management, uh, IIT Bombay. So, we are discussing about multiple response optimization. So, we will just revisit the problems what we are solving and how to solve it in Minitab we will try to see, ok. Uh, so, this is the example where we want to maximize the yield over here. So, one, one is maximization of yield over here. Uh, what we are, uh, this is to be maximized, then viscosity should be on the target and molecular weight should be uh, lower the better type of uh, scenarios. So, uh, one is maximization. So, this is known as, uh, this is known as uh, larger the better functions like that and on target is known as nominal the best and minimization is smaller the better type of functions like that. So, uh, uh, all this uh, response function we can we can define like that. If I have the response surface then either one of them has to be maximized, minimized or to be on the target like that. Any specification is like that only engineering specification we can think of ok. Uh, so, in this case the boundary condition is taken from Montgomery's book. So, this is given y 1 should be within 70 to 80 and the target value is around 80. Then uh, y 2 should be uh, between 62 and 68 the target value is 65 over here. So, uh, so uh, y 1 is uh, we want to maximize the target value is 80 and the third one is minimization problem anything below 3400 is fine, but uh, we are giving a uh, some some boundary conditions over here, but any solutions less than this. So, uh, and we have defined some target values over here. So, minimization smaller the better means uh, any values the problem uh, statement is 3400 anything below that is sufficient like that. So, in this case uh, we have to solve this problem. So, this is a CCD design that was experimentation was done. So, we have a factorial points we have a uh, center points and we have the uh, axial points like that. So, this is the experimental setup that we are having and we are using a composite desirability to reach to the optimal solution. So, Minitab will uh, we will use a response optimizer of Minitab, Minitab uh, which will use a uh, uh, heuristics to solve the problems of multiple response and it will give you the final solution of setting of x 1 and x 2 ok. Uh, and it is using desirability functions that I told that uh, for smaller the better type it will use a desirability function and nominal the better there is a different desirability function and this is given by Derringer. So, the for, for the larger the better the function is like this. So, if I can reach the target immediately the uh, uh, what we will get is that desirability dj value will be equals to 1 and uh, the composite score uh, desirability can be calculated which is nothing but the uh, geometric mean of the of the values of dj's over here. There are different ways of doing this, but one of these is geometric mean that we are referring over here ok. Uh, so, in this case uh, Minitab will do it automatically for you, it will generate the x 1 and x 2 conditions and it will see the uh, desirability and composite desirability and based on that final solutions will be derived after the complete iteration process like that ok uh, of the algorithm. So, what uh, how do we how do we in Minitab? So, this is very easy. So, what we will do is that I am taking the data set over here and this is the uh, excel uh, this is the uh, worksheet file that we have the data and uh, C 5 and C 6 is the experimentation uh, design uh, design matrix and this is the outcomes y 1, y 2 and y 3. So, what we have to do is that first we have to generate the response surface over here for y 1, y 2 and y 3. How do I do that design of experiments response surface and then analyze response surface over here. Then you mention that I want to see y 1 uh, yield I want to develop a response surface for this and go to terms because we are using CCD design we can uh, we can go for full quadratic equations and then we click ok and uh, in graphs you can see the Pareto plots also and then click ok and you will get the equations of the uh, of the final equations for this and the r square value will tell me whether the model is adequate. So, r square 97.05 is uh, adjusted r square is quite significant. So, we can we can retain the model. So, this is a quadratic model that we are retaining over here and uh, and in this slide you can see this is the model for y 1 this is the model that is used and Minitab also generates this model. So, uh, and in that case also the Pareto plot will show you which is important which is not. So, in this case uh, we, we can see that Pareto plots indicates that square a square is important, a is important, b square is important, b is important. Although may b is not so significant, but we will retain this one because in the book example it is retained like that for the response surface. So, we are retaining this one. Similarly, for the second y 2 variable viscosity we have to generate the response surface and I am generating the response surface analyze response surface over here. I will take y 2 over here and terms again full quadratic model we are using and then click ok and then again you will find that r square value adjusted value is 82.8 uh, ok we, we, we can retain this one. And uh, then in that case also Pareto over here what it shows is that 
this Pareto plot says only b square is important, but because uh, then we have to retain uh, b and we are retaining all the variables because in the in the example this Montgomery is example this equation was retained like that ok. We can change the equations also, but I am retaining this one full quadratic model we are retaining over here. So, then the third one is uh, the molecular weight. So, I am going to response surface and uh, and I am using uh, what uh, Montgomery has recommended the response surface that is that that equation that was taken. So, y 3 I am taking over here then the term condition what we will so we will only use the linear model over here because in the book it is linear model only that is considered when you consider only x 1 and x 2 and no interaction. So, that is the model we are using over here. So, this is around 61 percent explained variability and uh, and this you can see that all the variables are important a and b is important over here. And, um, the final equation is given over here. So, this is y 3. So, what we have done is that we have developed the response surface for y 1, y 2 and y 3 and now uh, we can we can just optimize using response optimizer of Minitab. So, what we will do is that now we will go to stat and uh, then we will go to DOE response surface go to response optimizer over here. When, when you go there what it will ask is that it can optimize up to 25 response. So, uh, how do you like to optimize these three variables three responses. So, y 3 is molecular weight we want to uh, minimize this one uh, y uh, 2 is uh, something y 2 is viscosity. So, should be on the target and target value is 65 that we know and yield we have to maximize. So, we are just mentioning that one. In setup what we will do is that uh, molecular weights uh, uh, we can take let us say the target value is around uh, this is approximately 3 to 0 0 what we what we have written, but we can mention something lower than that also uh, it does not matter like that. So, we have to minimize this one upper bound that is given is 3 4 0 0 like that. So, this is taken like that and then target value of y 2 viscosity is 62 to uh, this is taken as 68 and this is 65 that is taken as correctly and yield has to be maximized. So, target value is 80 over here and this varies from 70 to 80 like that we have taken like that. And the weights for is that means what is the importance of this variable y 1 y 2 uh, we can keep equal weights to this weights will be equals to 1 and we can change the desirability function over here. So, in this case uh, we can change the shape of the desirability function we are not doing that. So, importance matrix is also taken as 1 1 1 like that we, we can keep it same or linear uh, linear desirability function we are keeping over here. So, uh, in this case uh, we, we click ok and then uh, in options what we can do is that uh, you can give uh, restrictions to the constraint to the region. So, region is minus 1.414 that you have defined to plus 1.414 and similarly for the second one also we, we are giving a constraint to the region. So, maybe minus 1.414 and uh, next one is 1.414. So, solutions can differ because it is using a heuristics to solve the problem because there is no uh, single way of solving this problem. So, in this case because there are multiple response over here. So, we cannot reach global optimal solutions for all variables and it is not possible. So, in this case we have a trade off solution and for that we are using a uh, 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 some kind of heuristics to get the solution. Minitab will use that one internally and uh, uh, but desirability function will be used and uh, geometric mean will be used like that. So, we will click ok and let us try to see the solutions like that. This is one example I have taken. You can uh, you can also change this option and change it to uh, like uh, this uh, this options in, in in settings what you can do is that uh, we have taken 3 to uh, 3000 you can change this to 3, uh, 3 2 0 zeros like that that is also possible and uh, I am just giving a wider range over here for the solution. So, in this case what I, what I will do is that I will click ok and when you click ok what happens let us try to see the solutions over here. So, this is the solutions that we are getting over here. So, I can just copy this uh, as uh, and paste it in excel the solutions one of the solutions that we have got uh, minute I has derived one of the solutions over here. So, solution is reaction time is minus 8.886 uh, and I am assuming continuity of the variables x 1 and x 2. So, other one is minus 8.816 this is the coded coded information we can convert into true variables that I have told earlier also and the molecular weight that we are generating over here is approximately this solution is giving a uh, predicted value of 3059 and uh, y 2 is predicted around 65. So, it is hitting the target for y 2 and y 1 is around 78. So, we wanted 80 uh, to be maximized, but it has not reached uh, to that point. So, there will be a so, all the desirability values of this will not reach to 1. So, uh, when you take the uh, 
take the geometric mean over here, the composite desirability is coming out to be 0.84. So, it is lying between 0 to 1 also, are the, are the better type of scenarios. If composite desirability reaches 1, that means it will hit all the target values that is defined over here for y1, y2, and y3. So, then only the composite desirability will be equal to 1. So, it is not the case because y1 it has not reached and also molecular weight uh, the target value is not reached. So, in this case, what composite desirability that we are getting is 844 like that. So, this is uh, what we uh, wanted to explain in this uh, uh, in this session on multiple response optimization. So, you can change the equations, you can change the equations and you can you can uh, just derive uh, the solutions like that because uh, response surface changes and in that case uh, algorithm also finds different points and in that case it will be a different solution. So, uh, whichever the more accurate the response surface more accurate will be the results like that that is the uh, that is the uh, thing that we can say. And uh, finally, what we can do is that this is another recommended settings that we are getting in Minitab over here and uh, this is giving me a composite desirability of 0.94 like that and uh, so uh, solutions can change also. So, uh, finally, what you have to do is that you have to make a confirmatory trial over here. So, this is the reaction time setting condition that is Minitab is predicting let us let us do trial after that and let us figure out what is the uh, predict uh, what is the actual outputs like that. So, this is the predicted one solutions that is predicted values over here. So, actual values can only will only be seen when we are doing confirmatory trials like that. So, this is the uh, uh, way we should do and uh, this is the response surface optimizer plot that that you can see in Minitab also. So, this is uh, in Minitab uh, you can see at the end of the when you come down the this is the uh, solutions. So, what you can see this is the final solutions current solutions minus 8 uh, this one is the value that is that is giving Minitab. So, red one you can see this is the solutions like that composite desirability values are individual desirability values are given and individual values are also mentioned over here. So, this is the uh, response optimizer uh, that diagrammatically you can also see like that ok what is the solution although the solution is given over here this is the solution that is given over here ok. Uh, so, we will move to some different topics which is also important that we have to uh, mention over here is known as fractional factorial design. So, motivation behind this is sparsity of effect principle that means, uh, if you have n number of factors many number of factors and you do not want to uh, do full factorial experiments for all the factors because you do not know which is important which is not. So, to reduce the number of factors what we do is that we do screening screening of the factors in design of experiments uh, before we uh, go for optimization what we do is that we do screening of the factors. There can be n number of factors there are 7 factors all may not be influencing like that there can be 10 factors 20 factors ok. So, what we have to do is that we have to reduce the number of factors based on the importance like that. So, there is a important principle that I have earlier mentioned also sparsity of effect principle that uh, there are lots of factors, but very few are important over here. So, system is dominated by the main effects and lower order interactions like that. So, maybe uh, if you have factor A and B like that this main effects are important and maybe A B interactions. So, if you are uh, let us say A B C over here. So, uh, this is the uh, uh, first order interactions uh, over here and uh, then uh, we can also see interactions uh, third order interactions A B C. Uh, so, in this case what happens is that more and more you go for higher order interaction they become insignificant basically. So, that is known as sparsity of effects. So, individual uh, factors are important sometimes and uh, second order up to second order interactions can be seen like that and third order interactions this may be insignificant like that we try to avoid that one. So, uh, this can be uh, dropped and many of the so screening experimentation is uh, and out, out of these factors all may not be important like that. So, we can screen maybe only one factor is important over here. So, this will help me in the final experimentation. So, sequentially what we can do take uh, 3 or 4 factors see which is important then take another uh, sequence uh, another experimentation and uh, and we do and we screen the factors like that. So, we do not go all at a time we may be uh, we uh, we uh, do uh, sequentially and then we try to extract uh, the information uh, which is required that means, which are the factors are important like that ok. So, how do you do that uh, basically? Uh, this is uh, fractional factorial name is fractional factorial design and the complete experimentary if you have k factors we told that it is to the power k design like that. Uh, but we are not interested in running the full experimental trial let us say we want to reduce uh, uh, we want to see that which factor is important. So, in that case in fractional factorial we will run only. So, there are uh, let us say 2 cube designs. So, this is 3 factors A B C. So, if you are doing full factorial design this is 2 cube over here that is 8 experimental trial, but uh, as a 
researcher I am not interested or as a experimenter I am not interested to run the full trial because uh, maybe because of economy, economic constraints I do not want to do that. I want to figure out which factors are important or not which is. So, I on, want to run only half of this trial like that. I want to run only half of this trial. This is one half fraction. This is known as one half fraction over here. So, this may be written symbolically it will be written as 3 minus 1. That means, I, I will only run a 2 square trials where as I assume like that. So, if you have done full factorial of this uh, it would have been all combinations would have been like this, but I am only running half of the trials. I do not want to run full trials over here and and uh, based on that I will I will screen the factors based on that only I will screen the factors like that ok. <coughs> so, uh, so then uh, you will find that a, a whenever A is uh, the first trial is given as this this trial experiments A is positive then B is on the lower lower level C is on the lower level like that. Uh, so, but if you multiply this symbolically A B C what will happen is that you will get a A B C over here that is uh, that is positive over here. So, similarly uh, when a combination is B only B is at high level and other A and C is at low level what will happen is that this is the combination that I am running over here and uh, but if you multiply this A, B and C what will happen is that A, B, C is positive over here. Again for C, A, B, C will be positive like that. When A, B, C all at high level what will happen is that A, B, C symbolically if you multiply the plus signs over here that is also positive like that. So, all positive signs if you accumulate that means these are the trials you have to run A, B, C and A, B, C. If you run this trial this this only this block, this block is known as the principal block, this is known as the principal block uh, and there is a alternate block over here. So, either I can run this one or I can run this one like that both uh, you can run any of this, you can run any of this. So, uh, my idea is that I do not want to run the full trial, I am only running the half of the trials like that, half of the experimental trials like this and uh, I will lose some information, I will always lose some information because I will not, I will, I will not be able to calculate all interaction independently like that. So, in this case some information I will lose, uh, but in this case I am I am not going for uh, optimization over here. I, my idea is to screen the factors to screen the with minimum number of trials like that. So, in this case uh, what we do is that. So, this is known as design generator over here. So, if I have to make it into fractions which fraction we should run and which fraction we, we, we can omit like that and for that we use a design generator here ABC is used as design generator. So, when I multiply the signs of A, B and C and it will give some either plus sign or minus sign. So, one block will be plus sign, one block will be minus sign like that. I can take the first block which is known as principal block and only carry out these trials over here that is combination A, B, C and A, B, C like that. So, uh, and this is the combination that we will run. So, uh, this is basically half of the full trials over here 2 to the power k by 2. So, 2 to the power k minus 1 that I mentioned. So, this is 2 to the power 3 minus 1 that we are running. This symbolically we write like that ok. So, uh, so when you run this there will be uh, some uh, uh, confounding, uh, there will be some confounding in the effects. That means, uh, when I am estimating A basically I am not estimating alone A because uh, there will be some uh, allies that means confounded uh, because I have not run the full trial. So, uh, this uh, some of the information. So, over here uh, when I estimate the effect of A basically I will estimate A plus B C like that. So, uh, this is A plus B C I will estimate. So, how it is coming? So, A if you multiply with A B C what happens is that this is A square and B C. So, I can I can figure out this is the main effect A uh, with which it is confounded with that means it is it is together with uh, another interaction effect. So, so, when I am estimating A basically I am estimating A plus B C over here. When I am estimating B I am estimating basically B plus A C over here. When I am estimating C I am estimating uh, C plus A B over here. So, this is known as confounding that that will happen inevitable in case of fractional factorial design. That means, some information independent info independently I cannot calculate calculate BC uh, interaction effect. So, this will be inside uh, when I am calculating the effects of A like that. So, this is confounded over here A and B C is confounded and B and A C is confounded like this C and A B will be confounded and I told this is the principal block that I am running all plus signs is a principal block and this is the alternate fractions that you can run also. So, either I run principal or I run the alternate fraction uh, it does not matter like that. Okay. Uh, so, uh, allies structure will be shown by Minitab that whenever you select a design like that, yeah, a fractional factorial design it will show like that and uh, so we will have this 
confounding effects that I told that means there will be some effects which will be uh, when I estimate one it is not estimating that one it is estimating something along with that uh, some other interactions like that. When I am calculating main effects I am uh, from the uh, four experimental slides that I am doing. So, I am estimating A from over here it is not A it is A plus B C that I am estimating basically. So, this is also estimated when I am estimating A's effect basically ok. So, that is the idea. So, some all information, but if you run the full trial what will happen is that I can independently estimate A, I can independently estimate B C also. So, that is the idea that goes and that is known as LA, LA structure over here what you see and uh, many times will give you automatically which is aliased with which one like that, which is confounded with which other interaction effects or main effects like that, that will be shown ok. Uh, so, we are taking one of the examples over here uh, where it is a uh, uh, 2 to the power 4, 4 factor experimentation, temperature, pressure, concentration and steering rate. So, 2 to the power 4 is 16 trials uh, complete experimentation over here. So, I do not run full factorial over here. So, I will only run half of the fraction over here. So, 2 to the power 4 minus 1 half of the fraction we want to run over here and which are the which are the uh, which are the uh, runs that we will take. So, that is 1 will be taken, A B will be taken. So, uh, you can just multiply A B C D over here and principal block will be whenever a, a B C D multiplication is positive plus 1. So, that will be the uh, principle that will come in the principal block. So, over here minus minus this will come in the principal block. Here also if you multiply that will be positive A B C D will be positive. So, this will come this will come like this you can see which are the uh, trials that will come over here. So, out of uh, 16 trials only this 8 trials if you run in that case we will be having a uh, having an interpretation that uh, we will have some some information that which is uh, which is basically prominent out of A, B, C and D and uh, that sparsity of effect, effect principle we are using over here that if you consider all interaction it is you have to run the full experimental trials like that factorial design like that. We do not want to do that we have run half of the fraction and based on that we will just screen the variables over here. So, how do you run the trials? So, uh, we will only run this one and Minitab will do it automatically for you you do not have to multiply anything like that. So, Minitab will do it. So, this is the experimental run where I want to see that which are the factors affecting the filter rate uh, which is y basically over here and we want to analyze that one. So, we will just see in uh, experimental design. So, I have to create a fraction of factorial design. So, what I will do is that stat design of experiment factorial design create factorial design. So, I will go to create factorial design two level factors number of factor is 4 because I have 4 variables over here that is a b c d and uh, then what I have to do is that 4 factor then design I will go to design. So, it will say full factorial or fractional factorial. So, I will say half of the fraction 8 trials I will run over here and it will give you some resolution uh, resolution 4 over here. So, this is a resolution 4 design basically in fractional factorial there is a term which is known as resolution of the design ok. So, higher the resolution better is the fractional factorial design ok. So, uh, in this case uh, what what I am doing is that number of replicates corner point is nothing over here. So, I will click ok and then factors we can add over here. So, this is factors we can write then in options what we we do not hold randomize we do not randomize use principal block. So, either you can use fractions over here here use principal block. I am using the principal block over here which is all positive that is that is the principal block. So, uh, in options so then you click ok the design will be created. So, if you see that this is the design and it will say uh, which is allies with which one like that this is the ally structure that is given. So, A is confounded with B C D, B is with A C D like that and A B is confounded with C D. So, uh, when you estimate A B in A B interaction it is actually estimating A B plus C D interaction basically. When you estimate A it is estimating A plus B C D basically ok. And we told sparsity of effects B C D is uh, may be ignored. So, uh, effectively you are uh, making a good judgment and, and only uh, the estimation will be correct and close to effect of A basically. So, because higher than interaction has little, little impact in the system. So, in that case uh, we can consider that one as ignoring we can ignore that one basically ok. So, when you run this so 8 trials are given over here. So, there is no blocking over here. So, in this case 8 trials and we have got the design. So, I have to respond C T Q right over here and then run the trial and then run the uh, uh, analyze factorial design like that. So, uh, this is already created. So, if, if I go to the examples factorial design uh, it is already created. So, in this case filter rate experimentation. So, this is the principal block is given over here. So, this is the trial. So, how do I analyze this one? I go to stat DOE uh, factorial design analyze factorial design. Uh, so, you have to write what is the response then you go to terms. 
and in this case uh, what we are interested in that uh, we we can go to the second order terms all all terms we can see over here and in graphs we can see the pareto plots over here and then click ok over here what you see that estimation is not done because uh, we do not have degree of freedom error over here, uh, but which is prominent we can see A C uh, D uh, A C and D is prominent over here and A C and A D is prominent over here. So, B is not prominent A B interaction is not prominent. So, what we can do is that uh, this is the this is the plot what we are seeing. So, initially what we are seeing is that magnitude of uh, a D A A C and D and C is quite prominent. So, we will keep only these variables in our next analysis. So, what we will do is that go to stat design a factorial design analyze factorial design over here and in terms what we will do is that we will go to first order interactions and first order uh, factor effects and then A C we will put A D we will put A C A D we will put and uh, based on that we will see A C and A D. So, we will click ok and we will click ok and then we can see the estimations over here and what we see is that uh, B is not coming out to be prominent. So, we can eliminate B like that. So, B is very very insignificant. So, what is important over here from this analysis? So, what we are seeing is that A, uh, A, D, A, C, uh, D, C and only B we can eliminate. So, next we what we can do is that we can eliminate this one factorial design and then we can analyze and then in terms uh, we have to remove let us say B I will remove from here uh, only A C and D is important and their interactions. So, in this case the model explains R square value is around 99.26 that is very good that means other terms uh, even if we ignored all other terms like second order third order uh, uh, all other interactions higher order interactions like that I am getting a model which is having a predictivity uh, around 99.26 like that. So, you see uh, the factors which are important over here what you can see is that only main effect A, uh, D and C and A D interaction and A C is important others are ignored over here. So, you, you could have done uh, up to 4 interaction effects A multiplied by B and C and D like that if I have done full trial. So, so I do not need full trials over here out of these 4 factors what I am seeing is that only A, uh, D and C is important. So, I can eliminate B from here. So, uh, so that is the objective of fractional factorial design that is the objective of fractional factorial design uh, what we can do is that we can we can eliminate this one. And uh, what we can do is that when we when we have done this then also we can see the factor effects factorial plots over here and if you want to get the settings like that. So, what we what you can see is that uh, main effect plots interaction is prominent. So, we will see interaction plots over here and based on that we can get the settings like that. So, in this case uh, filter rate if you have to maximize. So, in this case what, what is required is that uh, C is uh, minus 1 and uh, also we can see that uh, A is at plus 1 like that A and C at A at plus 1 C at minus 1 that is the combination that we are seeing over here ok. And, uh, and in this case uh, for case of D, D is at plus 1 over here, D is at plus 1 over here. Uh, so, A was at plus 1 that is the condition A plus 1, D plus 1 and C at minus 1 that is the combination that we are getting over here and B is not significant. So, in that case it can be uh, at any level it can be at any level and which uh, which we can see. So, if you want to see the B's effect. So, what we can do is that ANOVA analysis you go to interaction uh, sorry you go to main effect plots uh, that will give you uh, the idea. So, in this case what what we are doing is that. Uh, so, main effect plots over here and uh, we can consider filter rates over here and the factors are considered from A to D like that. You click ok what you will see is that this is the main effect plots that you are seeing. Uh, do not go by settings uh, what I wanted to show is that uh, I want to show B's effect over here that it is quite flat over here quite flat and the slope is quite flat over here. So, in this case B's effect is uh, not significant that is also reflected after the fractional factorial design that is also reflected after the fractional factorial design ok. Uh, so, this uh, experimentation is done for screening factor fractional factorial design is used for screening. So, out of 4 factors we can see A, C and D is important and we can screen that one. So, this is the fraction that we have run. So, this is the experimental trial that is done and all the all the combinations. So, this is principal block. So, all will be plus 1 over here. So, if you multiply A, B, C and D it will be plus 1 like that ok. So, this is the interaction plot that I showed uh, to you and based on that uh, this is the equation filter rate equation and this is about 99 percent um, uh, explained variability that we have seen uh, when we have ignored B and higher order terms over here. So, that is the sparsity of effect. So, then there is design resolution over here it can be resolution 3 and resolution 4. We have used uh, 2 to the power 4 minus 1 is a resolution 4 design where 2 factor interactions uh, are allied with each other 
and the main effects are realized with three factor interaction that we have seen that means ally structure if you see. So, uh, A is uh, allies with B C D that is uh, third order interactions and A C is allies with B D like that two, two uh, second order interactions are allies with each other like that ok. Uh, two factor interactions are allies with each other like that. So, this is resolution 4. So, a uh, mini tab will generate automatically. So, higher the resolution better is the interpretation you can you can have a better interpretation better uh, better uh, uh, screening like that. So, uh, resolution 4 and resolution 5 designs are also possible. So, this is the uh, resolution of design. So, uh, resolution this is a resolution 3 design uh, where you can see that uh, there are 7 factors A, B, C, D, E, F, G like that. And if you run the full factorial trial what happens is that this is a 2 to the power 7 experimental trial. So, 128 trials has to be run to see all effects and their interaction. But if I, if I use the theory of uh, that specificity of effects principle. So, in that case uh, I can use fraction of this. So, uh, we, in this example what was used is that 2 to the power 7 minus 4. So, only 8 trials was considered over here to find out which factor is important and which is not. So, in this case um, what was figured out is that now only A, B and D is significant over here. Only main effects are significant. No other interaction nothing was significant like that. So, we have arrived at a conclusion that only A, B, D is important and that can be screened like that. So, that is uh, also possible ok. So, this is fractional factorial design. More you study you can see resolution 3, resolution uh, 5 designs like that uh, and how to define resolutions like that. But I told that if you go to the uh, higher resolution it is better always because uh, then main effects are not allied with lower order interactions like that ok. Uh, so, that is the principle we will use so that uh, we can we can we can safely assume that this effect is significant like that this effect or this interaction lower order interaction is significant like that. We go for uh, higher higher resolutions like that. So, we will continue discussion uh, on uh, on a different topics that is known as Taguchi's experimentation uh, and uh, that will be the final topic that we will cover ok. So, thank you for listening. <laughs>